my YouTube channel, Andrewism, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the area of the circle. First, we're going to know the parts of the circle. First, we have the circumference. It's the whole circle or the base of the circle. As you could see in this photo right here, the whole thing is a cir circumference. The whole thing. To solve for the circumference of the circle, here's the formula. 2 pi r equals the circumference. You multiply the radius with 2 and multiply it with pi or 3.14. Pi is equal to 3.14 and it never changes. Next. Next, we have the diameter. It's the half of the circumference. Here's the formula for solving it. As you can see in this picture right here, this is the diameter. The diameter. So radius plus radius is equal to the diameter. For solving the diameter, just remember, just add the radius by itself. Next, we have radius. It's the half of the diameter. To get the radius, we have to divide the diameter by 2. For example, the diameter is 30. So you divide it by 2 to be 15. 15 will be the radius. Okay? So now, so this is the part that you've been waiting for. The area of the circle. A is equal to pi r squared. So A is equal to area. Pi is 3.14 and it never changes or constant value never changes r squared radius multiplied twice for example 15 and then it's the radius so it's gonna be 15 times 15 so yeah that's how you solve the r squared next so this is the question now if you listen carefully to me maybe you can solve this correctly if the radius is 20 inches, what is the area of the circle? I'll give you time. And after this, I'll show you a solution. A solution. Or you can pause this video to solve it. Are you done? The answer is 1,256 inches. So now let's go to the solution. Remember the formula. A is equal to pi times r squared. Multiply the radius by itself two times, which is 400. Because you know why? 20 times 20 is equal to 400. And then multiply it with 3.14 or pi which is 1,256. And that's the answer for this problem. So 1,256 inches. Okay, next. Number two. If the diameter is 12 meters, what's the area of the circle? Make sure, uh, do not solve it instantly because it's a diameter. Make sure it's turned to a radius before you can solve it. I'll give you time. Or you can pause this video. Are you done? The answer is 113.04 meters. So now let's go to the solution. Solution, get the half of the diameter, which is 6, and then multiply it by itself, which is 36, because 6 times 6 is equal to 36, and then multiply it by 3.14, and you will get 113.04 meters. That's how easy it is. Just remember the formula, and you'll be fine. Number 3. If the radius is 10 meters, 
What's the circumference of the circle? I'll give you time, or you can pause the video. Are you done? The answer is 62.8 meters. But if you rounded it off, I'll consider it correct. So, solution. Remember the formula. Remember the formula. You multiply 10 with 2, which is 20, and then multiply it with pi or 3.14, and you will get 62.8 meters. So remember, you multiply it by 2, and then you multiply it by pi or 3.40, and you will get the answer. Number 4. If the radius is 49 centimeters, what's the diameter? Oh, here, this is easy. You should know this. I'll give you time. Last 5 seconds. 5, 4, Three, two, one. Okay, so are you done? The answer is 98. This is simple. Just add 49 and you will get a diameter. So, for example, 49 plus 49 is equal to 98. That's the answer. So it's right here, 98. So, yeah, for example, if the radius is 50, what's its diameter? It's simple, 100, because you have to add. 50 plus 50 is equal to 100. Next. Number 5. If the diameter is 150 meters, what's the radius of the circle? If the diameter is 150 meters, what's the radius of the circle? So this is easy. I'll give you 10, more. I'll give you 10 seconds. 10. 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 0, time's up. The answer is, uh, it's 75 meters. 75 meters. You know why? Because you just have to divide the diameter and you'll get 75. I hope you learned something new today, guys. Please like and subscribe. And let's see you in the next video.